Welcome. Today we're going to unbox my new wideband sensor that I'll be using for all the tuning on the channel, including uh, my cars, other cars that we run into, and any that we do consulting on. So this is an exciting moment because I have wanted this particular wideband since I started tuning, but I have not found reason to need it until recently. And this is the Bollinger Motorsports AFR 500 CAN bus. So what makes this so good is that it is a very high quality controller for a wideband and it also allows you to use NTK brand sensors. So you can use a significantly higher quality wideband sensor compared to the Bosch LSU um, variants. But um, yeah, we can, uh, we can, you can use a significantly higher quality sensor that's more accurate and they sell different levels of that sensor, which we'll get to in a moment. So uh, yeah, it can use Bosch LS 4.2 or the NTK variants. Um, I opted for the NTK. I want a sensor that I can run on methanol and not hurt. And this right here is that NTK sensor. Wow, this is really well packaged. Um, I'm really glad that it is because I want it to last, but um, I don't want it to come here broken. But this is the magic sauce right there. So this is an NTK sensor significantly more durable and accurate than the Bosch variants and more expensive. So this particular sensor just by itself costs uh, usually around $150. Whereas the Bosch are more like uh, 70 to 90 depending on where you get them from. So there's that for the sensor. Put it back uh, over here. And then let's real quick, let's go back to the controller. So. Um, I also opted for the standard range. They have a range that goes extreme for like really extreme methanol, but um, the range that I'm looking for for Lambda, I think would be like 0.60 Lambda. And that'll do plenty of what I'm trying to do with methanol. I'm not trying to do any extreme stuff with methanol, but I just wanted an accurate um, and a, a more accurate model. And so I went with their yeah, AFR. Anyway, this thing is nice. It is a very stout unit. It's like molded plastic. It has a DT connector, it looks like, on one end. And there's like another, they, they kind of look like DTs. Maybe they are, I'll have to double check, but it has a, like a very stout connector. And it has a reading uh, readout on the front. So you can just kind of set this uh, on your dash or somewhere while tuning. I'm not gonna be mounting this permanently in the car. This is just for tuning. Once I'm done tuning on the fuel mapping, I will be removing it. So I don't really care about anything to mount it. Like it can just be Velcroed or sat there on the desk. Um, but yeah, this is also the CAN edition. So CAN bus will allow me to use this with the Max ECU that I have or any of the other Megascort products. And the biggest benefit of CAN bus is not having voltage offsets. So when you have a, a typical wideband that only does analog output, you have to make sure 100% that the ground and power are at the same location as the ECU and make sure they're clean, no problems there with where the wiring goes because otherwise you can have a voltage offset um, that will be damaging to your readout uh, on that analog end. Um, this right here is the CAN bus um, right here. You can see this is a yeah, USB and CAN bus. You can actually go into this and program it. You can tell it to change its range and what it reads out. There's some jumpers inside as well. Um, but yeah, we're gonna end up using this to jump to CAN bus, as well as this other harness. Let me 
come around here. We're just gonna actually pull it out here onto the table. Oh, that's really nice. They give you a they give you a bung with a nice plug. That's really nice. Um, that is really nice right there. So you do get a bung and plug, so you can mount that on your exhaust, set that to the side. Um, yeah, they give you Velcro. I, I think that's a lot of people would just stick some Velcro to the back of it, set it on the dash, use it when needed, or set it on a, a tuning console. A lot of people they are gonna be using this are probably gonna be running a dyno or be a dedicated tuner. Um, and here, I think, are some of the jumpers. Um, here's some alcohol pads to, I think you clean and, and uh, calibrate the sensor. There's the manual. You can actually get all the manuals online digitally. Um, they give them here because it's nice to have them if you just bought this and you really need to just uh, make a quick reference without digging into their website. And uh, this guy right here is really nice. So they give you a, a harness with a really high quality sensor. Um, yeah, these are Amphenol uh, plugs. They give you a really nice high quality Amphenol plug. This guy goes into the back right here and uh, plugs in. And then right here is the variant that you use for MoTeC. They didn't have a flying lead in stock, so I just purchased the MoTeC version. Um, I mean, really all I need is to connect the CAN bus. So uh, if I plug this guy in right here, I can just connect a CAN bus. So really all I was trying to, trying to get was a connection there. So if I need to pull these pins out and, uh, and or pin to another connector, it's just a DT connector. Uh, or sorry, a DT, uh, DTM. So basically I, what I'm saying is all I need to do is just get another um, female end for this and I can just connect this to like the max ECU or anything like that. So this is really nice. Just basically makes an adapter. Um, it's designed specifically for MoTeC, but it's just a Deutsch connector. So we'll be able to use that when tuning. Uh, the next thing is let me take this little twisty tie off. This is the actual harness. Um, let's take a look at it real quick. Um, okay, so they give you a 13 foot harness for the sensor. So this guy will go out into the engine bay and plug into um, this guy right here. So that goes out in your engine bay. It's got like nice uh, tech flex style um, fleet sleeve. So that's pretty nice. And set that there. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, well, this is just the other end. This guy just plugs in here, gives you the power and uh, also has a fuse on the end, which is really nice. Like this is stuff that you don't get when you buy like a $180 AEM wideband. Like this actually gives you your ground and the ground and power. So what's nice is I already have a fuse block that I can just connect these two in my car, drop this in. I don't have to do any funny business because it's just a fuse, drop these two and uh, connect up the sensor and I'm ready to go. Um, that's actually super nice uh, that they already have this. I don't have to fuse it or do anything to it. Um, I can go just right to that. Um, but, oh, look at that. 7.5 amp fuse, ready to rock. And it's a mini too, so that makes it really kind. So here's another part that's really crucial too is this is an analog out. So this gives you CAN bus, but you can also go analog. So like the older mega squirt, micro squirt systems that I have and tune, I can disconnect the analog out. And uh, 
I'm good to go there. So that's really nice. Um, I believe they're probably just taped up in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna peel this back. Oh yeah, there it is. So there's your analog out. So for anyone who's interested, they just night, they tape this up with a little bit of loom tape and uh, just keep it. So if you want, you can uh, use it. If you're just gonna use it for CAN bus, it's all looped up in there. Uh, so yeah, this is, uh, this is really gonna be cool. This will be a game changer for me uh, tuning. I'm really excited to give it a try. It's a very high quality tuning instrument. Uh, it is basically for, yeah, high grade calibration. We're looking at something that is full professional grade here. Um, when I saw this, um, it was suggested by Shane Tecklenburg. Um, he's a really nice guy who has responded to me and when I've asked him questions in email and given me the time of day when, you know, someone like him, uh, I didn't think would, he was very kind to me and uh, helped me out. And he suggested this in one of his videos. And so when the time was right and I had the means, I decided to go with it and uh, we're gonna make some good use of it. So there you go. There's your unboxing. Um, Hope you enjoy, and I'll show you how it works when we get tuning my next project.